Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video on Genshin Impact. That is right. We are hyped up. We got into the China beta. Finally, um, got into that China beta, so we'll be taking a look at that. But before we do, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. And last but not least, we are closing in on that 1500 sub giveaway on the channel. We are currently sitting at seven subs away on this beautiful um, Monday morning. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to share share um, the video, share the channel, just get those subs up so that we can give out that $225 to two lucky winners on the channel. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive right in. Jumping right in, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at some Genshin Impact gameplay. That is right, we finally got into that China beta. Oh my gosh, with only, what, like five days left to go of the China beta before the official global release, which if you don't already know, if you have been playing in the China beta, all of your data is not going to transfer over to the global server. Um, so again, the China beta is just for me, just for other content creators to test um, the game to just kind of get a feel for everything that's there, maybe try to, to create some pre-guides, um, things like that for, for you guys. Um, but as far as that goes, like I said, I'm super excited. I cannot be more pumped up uh, to finally get some hours sunk into the China beta um, before it launches in the next couple of days um, globally. And again, that is going to be on September 28th, I think, officially. Um, for, um, I'm not exactly sure is that, that, I don't know if that means that we can play on the 28th, um, like day it is, I don't know if that means we can play on the 27th. Um, I'm not really exactly sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a midnight release, like most games do, but anyways, no, no, nonetheless, we'll get to that point eventually, but. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at some China gameplay. I'm going to be showing you exactly what Genshin Impact is. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of that and um, that kind of, uh, you know, in-game feel. As you can see right here, this is in-game. I mean, the graphics are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at this view. I mean, this is the starting zone. You literally land, you know, you literally wake up, you know, on that little beach side right there where I was standing way down there. So again, just a beautiful game overall. But before we jump into ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to discuss a few things that they had just announced and one of the things is going to be re-rolling re-rolling is going to be a huge factor in this game if you like to re-roll right and if you're going after a specific character then re-rolling is not going to be a a bad thing to do um but one thing to note is that the game they are giving us additional what they call pre-launch appreciation or launch appreciation rewards which means just for part, just for participating in the pre, the pre-registration, um, the pre-launch event, um, and then also downloading and you know and playing the game on launch day, they are giving us a massive amount of summons. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's somewhere around like four to five, um, uh, ten pulls. So yeah, ten pulls. Um, you know, in in the different banners and stuff that you can pull for in the game. So again, I don't have a lot of that information as far as um what banners will be out right away i have heard that a banner called um a banner with the the hero called noel um will be out so again i'll probably drop a link down to like a tier list down below so then maybe you guys can um uh check out the some of the additional heroes that they already have added into the game i do know that that list is also staying up to date um so as they have been releasing um new characters periodically like since the last couple open betas or closed betas um so with that being the case you know follow that link you can check out some of those heroes that you want to definitely definitely absolutely go for i myself want not be re-rolling and the reason why i'm not gonna be re-rolling is because two things one i think it just ruins the experience of the game for myself as as a content creator and as a player um i'd rather just take the information you know take all of the characters that the game gives me um basically from random you know whatever was meant for me is what i'm playing um and then pushing forward and then as far as i understand because again i'm super excited you know to actually get in here and play a little bit of this gameplay but I'm super excited to announce that, uh, you know, or not to announce, but, you know, that since I get to, my hands to play the game, um, I do not think that any character will hinder your progress in the game from my understanding, meaning like you don't need a specific character. Yes, there's a gotcha system, but you don't need to gotcha for a specific character unless you just really like that character or that character's skills. But as far as the base four characters that the games gives you for free, um, I am told that you can absolutely 100% be all of the story mode, all of the PVE content um, and things like that. I mean, you might now you might struggle a little bit more than some other characters, but as far as um, actually being able to do it, it is possible. So that's going to be basically it for the announcement. You will get a bunch of or a load of summons for free in the game. 
as I mentioned before, uh, we spawned over there on that um, that rock over there uh, to start off with. Um, as you can see here, they do have a climbing mechanic in the game. The little yellow bar on the right-hand side is going to be your stamina bar. Um, yes, when that stamina gets depleted, as you are climbing, um, you will definitely fall to your death and or take damage. So the combat is super fluid. I mean, this so so this so this here is your <clears throat> your standard walk right so you get your standard walk like this um you can hold the shift button and then they do like a power uh you know dash with a a auto run as you can see here you only have to tap it and that's not being held down i really do like that um not only that like i said so this is your left click this is your base character by the way that you get in the game um but yeah so your your left click i just i press it once and it does one slash i press it multiple times um it does like a combo slash and then if i press and hold it it will again do like a a hardcore a power attack basically um and then my my right click these are just default controls by the way i have not changed anything or touched anything um and then the uh the right click is really nice it's got like this um this again dash forward button you run basically at full speed full sprint and you can see that my stamina depletes really fast doing that but um guys i mean i just can't even i just can't even tell you how excited i am oh my gosh it took a long time but Nevertheless, before we jump in, I got to say, I got to give a huge shout out to my boy, Ark. So this guy is in another Discord. I found about I found out this guy um, has been helping people get into the beta. He is a absolute mad lad when it comes to knowing his shit, when it comes to computer stuff um, and betas and just basically anything and everything. Um, and I know he's not from America, but shout out to you, Ark. Thank you very much for helping me get into the the, the open beta, man. I was just, oh man, I, it was um, it was crazy. If you guys haven't been already trying to get into it, or if you are trying to get into it, I'm telling you what, um, you can hit Ark up. I will. Um, he is definitely on the channel, so go ahead and comment down below. I'm sure he would be more than willing um, to help you guys out for sure so without further ado let's jump right into this gameplay so um like i said so as i was announcing before you do have a stamina bar in the game the bar down at the bottom in the center of the screen is going to be your health bar um so with this default character um i do start out with 912 um health <clears throat> Um, you can swim in the game, uh, so we'll show you a little bit of that. Um, so you can swim here. Um, you can hold down the shift to swim faster. It does deplete your stamina. Um, if you are in the water when your stamina fully depletes, um, then you will drown and your character will die. Um, and it's not like you usually lose your character forever. You just pretty much respawn at uh, wherever the closest checkpoint was, and then you start back over where you were. Um, but again, I mean, I'm just pumped. I mean, looking at all this stuff here, you can destroy bushes. I mean, a lot of the stuff in the terrain is actually destroyable, um, which is very, very nice be and to know. And uh, just one side tip, you can see this little sparkly thing here in the grass. Do you see that um, in that back corner behind that tree? You can see that little sparkle. Um, that means there's something that you can loot. So you can see that there is a mushroom here. You're going to press the F on the keyboard. Um, and pick that bad boy up. And again, these are just default controls. I have not changed anything. I'm assuming there is some key bindings, tricks, and um, stuff that you can actually change that might better enhance your experience depending on your, your play style. Um, but um, yeah, so like I said, so basically we got a stamina um, option here. All we're doing is, by the way, we're just progressing. We're just, we're just going through and progressing through the game. Um, <clears throat> you know, collecting anything and everything that we can. I just wanted to show you some of the gameplay here in this video. Like I said, obviously I'm going to have more, more videos to come out, more uh, game guides to come out, more things to come out with when it comes to Genshin Impact. But, oh man, I do have to go to work today. Unfortunately, I did not get the day off, you know, even though I got into the closed beta, I did not get the day off, which... You know, it is what it is, but um, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to get home and actually um, invest some time into the game. Um, so, like I said, so this is some of the this is some of the combat system here. Again, this is the very first start of the game. Um, so I have not uh, I have not done a whole lot at all. I haven't even I've talked to the the lady once. So we're collecting resources here killing things or destroying things see the tree here i don't know if you can actually destroy the tr these trees anyway oh we do have our first chest ladies and gentlemen so a common chest let's check this bad boy out so there we go so we did get some apprentice notes some adventure flowers oh by the way if you didn't notice right there all of those rewards are those slower tier list items like the e and the d items um <clears throat> yeah adventure flower 
Yeah, so all of those items are going to be those, uh, yeah, see the apprentice notes, um, the the crystals, all of that stuff is going to be on that E and D tier list. Um, so that's going to be why I would not recommend focusing on that when it comes to doing the pre-registration launch event um, rewards because, again, you're you're going to get loads of them. I um, mean, if you've been watching any other content creator out there on YouTube that has been playing Genshin Impact, um, I'm sure you have already seen them collect them, you know, heavy. Um, that is the first chest that we collected the entire first area. So, again, very, very nice. Um, perfect for the video. I plan that out guys i planned that out <laughs> i didn't but um anyways i hope everybody has a fantastic morning um, i hope everybody has a, has a wonderful monday um but all right so taking a look at this here so what some of the stuff we showed you some of the combat i showed you some of the the stamina perks um let's go ahead and click the um is it e for inventory um, which one is it? B for bags. All right, it is B for bags. Okay, sweet. Um, so you can see here, um, this is going to be some of your main menu stuff. So inventory and weapons, you can see that um, all you do is you just click the stuff here otherwise you can go from one tab to the other by clicking the arrows um, but again so I mean you got the artifact section here look at that we already got a one star artifact easy easy mode <laughs> um, we do have um, no items here we've got some consumables that I have already collected um, so this is a sun setta um, so it's a restore 300 health um, again these were just items that were on trees on the ground things that I had picked up from the start um, this game is a open world game so you're going to want a hundred percent want to collect as much resources as possible and scout scavenge and explore everything in the map I'm um, collecting you know food is going to be an essential to eating and restoring your health I'm collecting um, different things to um, craft different things so you can see that these are materials I've collected already. Um, I collected these six crabs from the beach. Um, some of these additional flowers. I'm assuming these flowers are from like potions and medicines and stuff or recipes. Um, we've got some, um, you know, a mushroom here, right amount of shade and moisture. So again, I mean, it literally just, I mean, they're going to give us the information as we, as we find it and use it. Um, you can see that we do have a quest item here. We have, or you're currently not on any quest because like I said, we just started in the game. Um, and then we've got this uh, precious sigil or this sigil here so what is this and extending this just raising the winds can be exchanged for special items on the thing very nice cool um so that's going to be the city state sigil so sweet so that's going to be a little bit of what that is this is going to be more of your menu here kind of like the old school like game boy setting you can see you click the menu it pops open on the left hand side and you can kind of quick access stuff that's kind of what this is you've got your name up here at the top that you can obviously change and do they do they did add the take photo section in the China beta, um, which is very, very nice. Um, so like I said, you can come around here um, and, you know, spin her around however direction you want it, um, you know, to take a awesome photo. So press enter here to take that bad looking photo. Um, but this is going to be really, really nice. I do like the um, the photo options in the game um, just for the simple fact. It looks like we're going to get some story here, um, but just for the simple fact that we uh, – you know, for content creators, you know, I can create backgrounds. I can create things like that. We'll get, we'll do a little bit of cinematic here. Oh, look at this. This is the one that they have. This looks like the cinematic that they show at the beginning of um, the trailer um, in uh, on the actual official Genshin Impact's website. So again, very, very nice. Um, you can check out some of that there. She's going to do a little bit of talking here. So again, I'm just going to skip through a lot of this stuff just because it is the China beta. We'll be doing a live stream or a playthrough um, once I jump into the actual... Um, uh, you know, game. I think it's going to be it for, for the sake of this video. I just wanted to get that announcement out that they are going to be giving you a load of free summons in the game. So don't worry about jumping in and spending a lot of money. That's going to be very, very nice for the free to play um, community. Um, there, um, basically there's some, some, some of the summons will be locked up behind certain world tiers. So you have to hit to like world tier, um, number seven, which I believe is only about an hour to an hour and a half in the game. Um, you can hit uh, world tier seven. Um, and then basically on top of that, I think there's another one for world tier 10, but I don't think a lot of people, if you are looking to read role in the game um, I don't think a lot of people are looking to push to that world tier 10 they're just going to take it at world tier 7 get the summons that they all can up to there I think there's like four 10 pulls um, and then you know based on the heroes that you get um, then you're going to basically just you know sign out of this account make a very new account you know log back into the game with the new account and then you start the whole game over again from basically the beach and you rinse and repeat but that's gonna be it for me ladies and gentlemen please be sure to drop a comment down below let me know what you think about the gameplay so far we finally got into the china beta so i'm excited to finally create some content for you guys um and also like i said we might be doing another live or we might be doing a live stream here very soon um in the next couple of days in the evening um before the official launch just to kind of answer some questions and do, do some simple you know q a on the stream um and not only that too just so you guys can see more additional gameplay but without further ado ladies and gentlemen please be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can 
a notification every time we drop a video, and I will see you guys on the next one. <laughs>